السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از سمپل پینڈولم سمپل پینڈولم لک ایٹ دا فگر دس از دا اسٹینڈ اوکے دس از اے فکس پوائنٹ اینڈ دس از اے اسٹرنگ اوکے اسٹرنگ مے بی دا اسٹرنگ از تھریڈ اور اینی لائٹ وائر اینڈ دس از اے باب دس از کال باب اوکے آئرن بال or any brass ball okay this ball is called bob this is string and this length of the string is denoted as l okay so this is called a pendulum this is called a pendulum when we take the just move the ball bob then it will rotate like this it, it will rotate like this okay now look at the definition of the simple pendulum A simple pendulum consists of a small heavy sphere. This is the sphere, okay? Ball is a sphere. A simple pendulum consists of a small heavy sphere suspended by a light string. Light string. Suspended by a light string. This bob is suspended by a light string. From a fixed support. This is the fixed support. Fixed point. Such a way that it can oscillate freely it can it can oscillate freely this is the simple pendulum definition of the simple pendulum okay now when a pendulum is at rest with the string the vertical it is at its mean position this is the mean position when the pendulum is at rest okay that vertical line is the mean position so the point c this line c is the mean position so this is the mean position this this pendulum is at rest so this is called the mean position okay and this length of the string is called length okay denoted as l so c is the mean position now amplitude some terms related to the pendulum simple pendulum is amplitude now look at this this angle when we when we take the bob and take it to this distance and leave it then what happen this will rotate like this this will oscillate like this okay so this angle is called amplitude this angle is called amplitude look at the definition the small angle made by the string this string okay the small angle made by the string with the vertical when the pendulum is at either of two extreme position is called the amplitude of the oscillation this is the small angle made by the string with the vertical okay this angle is called amplitude and there is a term extreme position this is the extreme position when the when we take the pendulum at this position so that maximum distance is the extreme position this position is called extreme position and this also extreme position so a and b a and b is the extreme position and c is the mean position okay it is is it clear now time period what is time period the total time taken by a pendulum to complete one oscillation is called its time period the time taken to complete one oscillation what do you mean by one oscillation one oscillation mean here what is the meaning of this one oscillation one oscillation means when we this, this ball is taken at the position a this one here and if we leave it if we leave it then it will go at the position b for example at the position b so here if we leave it then the ball moves from a and go to b and then return back to again a this is called one oscillation okay here moving from the position a and go to b and after that it will return back to the position a that is called one oscillation okay so here one oscillation again the ball is moving from a and this is two oscillation three oscillation four oscillation five oscillation six oscillation okay so the time taken by pendulum to complete one oscillation is called its time period so the time taken to complete one oscillation 
that is the called time period that is called time period okay is it clear now time period is denoted as t time period is denoted as t and it depends directly with the length of the string with the length of the string okay now look at this here this is the pendulum and this is another pendulum now the length here length l1 l2 okay two lengths are there one length is 20 cm another length is 50 cm okay now the time period depends on the directly with the length of the string directly time period directly to the length length if length of the pendulum is increase then the time period is also increase time period is also increase if the length is decrease then the time period is also decrease okay for example here if the length is 30 cm the time taken to complete one oscillation is 1 second if the length is 120 cm okay the time taken the time period is 2.2 second look here length 30 to 120 length increase time period is also increased 1 second to 2.2 okay so the time period is directly related to the length of the string okay time period number two time period does not depend on the amplitude it doesn't depend on the amplitude this angle this angle it doesn't depend on the amplitude maybe the angle is like this it does not depend okay it is independent on the amplitude okay number three time period does not depend on the mass of the bob if the mass of the bob is one gram or five gram okay it does not depend okay time period depends only only the length of the string okay question will ask that uh, time period time period depends on the mass of the ball it is true or false answer is false okay now to find or to calculate the time period of a simple pendulum we will use we use a stopwatch stopwatch that can count or take a record the time period okay stopwatch you know now here next topic is next term is second pendulum what is second pendulum a pendulum with a time period of exactly two second is called second pendulum okay those pendulum whose time period is two second uh, two second for one oscillation okay for one oscillation time taken is two second that pendulum is called second pendulum okay it is the length is very close to one mm that second pendulum the string length is 1 meter okay so the once to complete one oscillation time period is 2 second that is 2 second that pendulum is called second pendulum and nearly the length of the string is 1 meter here is the one question is given that a simple pendulum makes 20 oscillation in 24 second 20 oscillation here from 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 position this to this one oscillation two oscillation three four five like this twenty oscillation in twenty four second okay find the time period of the pendulum this is the question twenty oscillation in twenty four second what find the time period of pendulum now here look at this solution the time taken for twenty twenty oscillation how much time taken time time taken for twenty oscillation 24 second okay in question it is given so for 20 oscillation time taken 24 use unitary method for one oscillation time taken will be 24 by 20 second okay so the answer is 1.2 second 1.2 second so time period is 1.2 second for 20 oscillation is 1.2 second find the time period of the pendulum so the time period of the pendulum is 1.2 second it means that one oscillation 
to complete one oscillation time taken by the pendulum is 1.2 second okay hope you understand this problem thank you